today for you. Let's, um, but first of all, I want to welcome the president of uh, CEF, Xiao Tong Wang, to give you a brief introduction of what CEF is and why we're hosting this annual conference. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm so excited to see all of you coming here today. My name is Xiao Tong Wang. I'm the current president of the China Economic Forum. I'm supposed to give you a very formal and official introduction, but since it's already printed out in our brochures, I don't think it's necessary to repeat that again. So instead, I'd like to talk about CEF as a member who stayed with this organization for about three years. I think CEF exists does not only because our members have strong academic backgrounds or thorough understandings of economic issues. I think CF exists because we are just like most of the young people sitting here today. We worry about our futures. We are eager to uh, make our voice be heard. Uh, and we want to share our opinions. And um, we want to build connections with professors, professionals, and peers. And most importantly, we want to see the world from our own perspectives. And uh, we want to hear the different uh, points of views uh, from different scholars. CF exists because we not only um, genuine, share the genuine concerns, our needs, and aspirations of young generations, but also we decide to do something about it. That's why we hold the Future Conference annually. I think we believe that economic knowledge should not merely exist um, in the textbooks and lectures. Instead, economics can be found everywhere in our daily life. And it can connect to many different fields and uh, majors, which is why we not only invite professors from econ departments, we also have Professor from Public Affairs, Political Science Department. And we want to show to the people that economics is a fun and a powerful tool to understand and interpret the current issues of the world. We are a group of young and passionate people, but having passion is far from enough to make a conference from happening. Um, we also need help from people with expertise in topics related to economics, event planning, event advertising, and of course the, the people with funding. So therefore, on behalf of all the CF members, I would like to give my special thanks uh, to the speakers, because I know April is a really busy moment for all of you, so I really thank you uh, for sparing your valuable time to share knowledge with us today. And I also want to thank the Econ Department, as well as other student organizations who help us advertise this event. And um, I also would like to thank the Conference Center of Grandeur, and Mackenzie especially, she's the event planner. Um, and also, I'd like to thank the people from AUIA, AIS, and ASM for funding. And most of all, I'd like to thank you the people who come today. We have reflected the great lens on what kind of conference that you are looking for. We need to figure out what kind of topics that you are interested in and which format of presentation that you might not get tired of. And even we try to predict what kind of flavors of cupcakes that you might like. So in other words, please enjoy this conference. Get involved, ask questions. And um, however, if we didn't get your flavors right, please let us know. You have the stories and please leave them at the sign-up table when you leave. Now, allow me to introduce our next opening speaker. She's the advisor of the Department of Economics. She, gave, she has given us so many valuable advices on how to find speakers, how to advertise events, and things like that. So, ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome Susan here.